first one, we're going to start taking a look at the second one. These two are actually very closely related. So I actually looked at this one that won today at Newmarket. And it's a case of uh, buy one, get one free, really, it turned out. like. Well, it's not the plan, but it's always nice when that happens. Uh, commissioning is the awesome question today. Winner of a maiden at Newmarket by three and a half lengths. A good seven furlong maiden. So you're looking at already, uh, you're stepping them up nicely to the sort of tricks we're looking at too. For possible classic oars by Kingman out of a Galileo mare, you know. So it couldn't do anything wrong but win by three and a half lengths on its debut with Frankie up, which is quite rare for two year olds. He's, he's on records as saying he don't like to ride many because they, 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 he, he thinks he has a better chance of her being thrown off him. So this is an interesting horse, I think. The people look at the pedigree of it, they'll see. That it's actually quite a nicely bred horse as well. The damn sovereign parade, like you see there, by Galileo out of a mare called Dialafara. And that brings us nicely on to the second one. Because believe it or not, Dialafara is actually the dam of this one. By Galileo. Again, you see, this is a Cornwall horse that won on the 21st of July by two and three quarter lengths called Tower of London. So we're going to be we're going to be having a good little ganders at these two, I think, moving forward. The the, the immediate pedigree, Sovereign Parade, the dam of commissioning. I don't think she's quite a a, a new mare. She was only born in two thousand and thirteen. Yeah, but the rest of them, we will have a quick look. Wow, well, I say quick look, but it doesn't look possible to have a quick look at anything at the minute. The incredibly brutally slow internet that I'm having to endure at the minute. It's strange. I can do everything all day, and then as soon as I want to do something, it just just slows down to a deliberate halt. As I thought, Dialafara has only won one out of four races. The other horses he got in there, horses like Diamanaka. Have a look, see what she's won. Ideally, I'd just fly through these, open them all in different tabs, you see, but I know that it's a bit slow for that. So I'm having to just sort of sort of work at half speed, which is infuriating, really. It's just a waste of time. I could have looked at four pages while this one's loaded. Just slows everything right down. Demon Arc has got a good form, you see. Third in a couple of group, group races in France. But if you look at the pedigree of the horse on the... So like you'll see she's family 8D. This is actually a line I've looked at before. Yeah, they're quite good. Uh, this this one you have to you have this one you have to go back to Paddus, who was uh, born in 1955. There she is. Look. See on this line, so it's the eighth dam of it is Paddus roughly. It's four on a page. And it ties into a good, some good Japanese horses. Victor Pisa was a good Japanese stallion, still is I think. Don't know if it's still alive. Winner of the Japanese, uh, 2,000 guineas. And also, you've got a lot of good, uh, decent Argentinian horses as well that were before that, that are kind of on the same line from uh, a dam called Cherry Brook, which is a couple ahead of Paddus. If you go back before Paddus, you've got Irish 2,000 guineas winner, Furby Glen as well. So this is a, this is a, pet, this is a line that's been going really for, for, for a long time. Yeah, a lot of it has started all the way back in 1868, you see. And there's not really a lot on it, apart from the odd one or two bits, of which hours, you see if you scroll through the rest of it, it, it falls nicely really amongst the best of it. You've got Russian Oaks and Aussie Oaks winners, Yugoslavian line there. So it's the line, it's a line that's done well, but not really in traditional racing areas apart from the odd one or two but so you got a speciosa there ch chucked in like in 2003 so that it is capable bold ruler preakness winner it's definitely a race named after that so there is a couple but it wouldn't be one of the best damn lines that i've seen you know they're struggling when you're getting a, a color one on it tap is a well, 1890 they had to fill it out there with tap is our in 2012 so it's good to see that they are still paying some attention to the site there's tapizala 
one of from the deadline uh, descended from one of the very first ones, Atalanta, in eighteen seventy eight. So they've done well to keep that one that little line going. Not a lot on it though, but so they've had to include Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, just not bolded it or anything. So they've added it. But I like if they were to do that for every horse on here, treat it like that, they'd never finish this site. Yeah, there's so many good horses on here that are not bolded. Classic winners, group one winners. Uh, not so, not so much on this one. Let's let's have a let's have a quick ganders at this win. Tower of London. We're not really gonna. Tower of London, if anything, is better related to this one because than this one because there's a there's no dam in the middle. This is quite out of the alley for straight away. You know, so you're looking from both maybe maybe make group horses possibly. Commissioning is a John Gosden train and. Tower of London is, is Aiden O'Brien, as we thought. So let's have a look at this one win today, and then we'll call it a day. They're off. Roaring Twenties race day underway on the July course. Seven furlongs, 1400 metres ahead of them. Art of Magic and the Godolphin Silks of Raw Blue began brightly with Premier Beauty, the pale sleeves of the blue cap. And Luck in Brew, blue and orange track in the leading pair through the first furlong. Commissioning on the extreme right in the dark blue and white. Midfield, Canadian Smoke Show in the black and white tracks the leaders early. Followed by Propense, the pink cap. Emily Bell, yellow jacket is another in midfield, racing just ahead of the aforementioned commissioning. Lady Wilbraham, the red, white and blue towards the left is held up towards the back of the field. Nancy Angel in the grey and green, virtually disputing last place with Lady Clemmy, the white cap, as they move through halfway. Art of Magic in the raw blue then leads them down towards the last three furlongs as they drift centre to near side. Still there, Premier Beauty on the right, Luck in Brew, asked to get a little bit closer. Canadian Smoke Show in the black and white in behind. Second from the left, Propense is making progress. Extreme right, commissioning running on under pressure. Descending now inside the last two furlongs, and it's still Art of Magic in front, and she dashes a length clear. Commissioning on the right, looking a threat. Canadian and smoke show black and white moving out with propense luck in brew uh, struggling to get on terms and commissioning inside the furlong has quickened up the better here she's moved two lengths ahead propense is giving chase late but the bird has flown and it's frankie in front commissioning makes a winning debut emphatically from propense canadian smoke show close fourth luck in brew and art of magic Oh, such a smooth debut from commissioning. It's the second time in two days that the Gosdens have unleashed on debut her daughter of Kingman to win very well here. Yesterday it was Laurel, the three-year-old. This time it's commissioning the two-year-old who has got an outstanding...